city. What Mendel did is he took a tall plant that had, think of two capital T's, so this is just a tall plant, that's what it is. So it was considered a purebred because both of its parents were tall plants and their parents were tall plants, so this purebred plant, he took it. And then he took a purebred short plant, so that plant's parents were both short, grandparents were short, so he took this short plant and he took this tall plant, purebred. And what that means is the tall one is two capital T's, the short one is two lowercase t's, and he made it them to make a new plant, considered the F1 generation, because this is the first generation of the mixture of the tall and short plants. All the babies, plants, all the baby plants came out tall. So why is this? Because So what this suggests is that all plants have dominant and recessive genes. A dominant gene is the one that's going to show, and a recessive gene is the one you're going to carry, but you don't necessarily show. So the way that this is viewed is something called a Punnett square. And a Punnett square is when we take the gene of one parent, so that two capital T's, so we'll put, it'll be like two capital T's. It almost looks like a, uh, it's like a square, and then it's split into four sections. So you have the two capital T's down here, and then you're taking the second parent that you had, which was two lowercase t's up here. So if you cross them, you have, in your first box, you have the capital T and the lowercase t. In the next box, you have the same thing, capital T, lowercase t, and same for all the boxes. So all of the boxes end up being a capital T and a lowercase t. So what this means is the capital T is the dominant trait. The tall plants are dominant. However, if we take two of these F1 generation plants, the capital T and a lowercase t, capital T, lowercase t, they both look tall, but they're carrying the gene for the short plant. And we then meet those two. What we end up finding is that three of the, is that three of the plants are tall and one is short. So why is that? We come back to our Punnett square. So we have capital T, lowercase t, capital T, lowercase t. If we cross them, we get two capital T's, a capital T and a lowercase t, a capital T and a lowercase t, and two lowercase t's. So that two lowercase t's, that's the short plant. That plant does not carry the dominant gene. So when we talk about the difference between genotypes and phenotypes, so genotypes, so genotypes are the genes we carry. So in that situation, we would have one of the four plants is the genotype, capital T, capital T. Two of the four plants is capital T, lowercase t and one of the four plants is lowercase t, lowercase t. What this means is one of the four plants only carries the dominant tall gene. Two of the four plants show the dominant tall gene but also carry the recessive short gene and one of the plants only has the recessive short gene. When we talk about phenotype, that is what we're seeing. So we're seeing that three-fourths of the plants are tall and one-fourth of the plants are short. If you want that free 14-page ATI study guide, make sure to grab one down below. If you want the full ATI T's science study guide, you can go ahead and click that link below as well, and it will bring you over to where you can purchase. Okay, thanks guys.